What's up everybody, it's Death I Bring and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. <laughs> yeah, sounds good man, I like it. Anyway man, since we're on lockdown, we're going to be doing some workouts today, prison style. And I'm going to show you exactly what muscle groups to use to make yourself look like a monster man. You ain't, look, let's just put things into perspective, okay? When you watch a movie that has villains and stuff in there, do you ever say, and he looks really vicious or anything like that, you know, do you ever say, uh, dang, look at those calves. Look at those thighs. No, man, you don't say that. You don't say that, okay? You look at his chest, okay? You look at his arms. You look at his back arms. You look at his shoulders, okay? That's what people look for. When uh, you're trying to look like a monster, you're trying to look big and mean, you know what I mean? So those are some of my favorite muscles to work out. My chest, that all inmates pretty much do this, okay? They work their chest, they work their shoulders, they work their back arms, they work their biceps, they work their forearms, okay? They, you don't see too many people doing squats in prison. And if you do, those are just those, uh, you know triathlon guys that want to uh, do every workout in the book but really they look puny as hell they might have some strong legs okay legs are important I do legs probably just like for 15 to 20 minutes once a week that's it you know our bodies man like our lower backs and stuff like that I messed up my lower back by doing clean presses where you pick up the, the bar throw it up and put it over your head, okay? That's how I messed up my back. Our bodies are not meant to squat 300 pounds, man. Imagine all that pressure on your lower discs, okay? I don't care what kind of bodybuilder you are. Y'all wanna work out and make your sculptor every inch of your body? Well, guess what? In the long run, you're gonna be feeling like a bag of bones because your joints deteriorate over years. So why not just keep it simple and keep it consistent and make yourself look jacked and healthy at the same time. So let me go ahead, get right into this penitentiary workout for you. I did a video already and telling you that consistency is key to everything in life, especially working out, okay? Consistency. If you don't have consistency and you don't want it, you ain't gonna get it. So let's get into this. Okay, so for the first thing, I'm going to show you exactly what I worked out with in jail that got my working out going good. And it's the best because you can change the weight scale at any time. You can lessen it or uh, upgrade the weight. First, you're going to need a big bag. And this is pretty much the same exact bag they give you in jail. Clear trash bags. And you're going to need another mini bag to make sure it doesn't have a hole and wrap it up. Now let's go fill this puppy up with the right weight scale. Let me hop into the shower really quick. <laughs> well, I love this jail uh, stuff, man. I'm not going to get it too heavy because I just want to show you random things. That should be enough, for real. Oh, yeah, that's good enough. You got a goldfish bag. Now, you know, I'm not going to do it extreme. I just get enough water in here so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, let's tie this puppy up. This is about 20 pounds, 25 pounds, I can tell. So it's a good amount of weight. And you know, another good thing about water, it's like dead weight, okay? Dead weight always feels in much harder to lift than regular stuff. Go ahead and tie this up one more time. Yeah. Next, you're going to need a pillowcase. And also, uh, usually a magazine for a handle. But I'm going to show you what you can do with a handle. Okay, what you're going to do, slide this bag into the pillowcase. Make sure it's not mama's favorite pillowcase, she'll get mad. Dump that bag in there. And then you're going to want to, this thing's pretty heavy actually. You're going to want to twist this thing up, man. Twist the ends up. 
like this. Let me set this up here. Twist them up just like that. And this is how you get your handle. And then, see how both sides are twisted up? Then you're going to want to tie it under. All right, so I went ahead, came downstairs, so I had a little more room. I'm gonna show you another workout on this uh, prison, this staircase I got that resembled prison bars. I'm gonna show you a good forearm workout. But first, you're gonna tie it up under and over just like a regular knot, and this is gonna be your handle. Now, some people like to slide a magazine through it so they can do two hands, but not me. One muscle at a time. I mean, in the gym or something, I'll use a preacher bench. But this right here, is good enough because you don't want it too heavy in jail. First things first, of course, you know the drill. Biceps. That's all you gotta do. And when you do biceps, remember to get a good stretch in your forearm, man. I mean in your bicep. You're gonna wanna come all the way down with it. All the way up. But not all the way up to where it's relaxing. You wanna keep a consistent strain on your bicep, okay? And I don't care if it's just 20 pounds. You can hear this from anyone, anywhere. But this, I'm just telling you, is what I did in jail for at least two hours a day. Biceps, and then you're gonna do back arms, okay? You wanna do some back arms with this water bag? This is what you do. Now for back arms, I always did this, okay? Try to keep this back arm straight tucked in close to your face, you know what I mean? And straight up and down with it. Straight up and down. This was a good back arm workout. And you know it's very hard because this water jiggles back and forth. But, that is how you do the back arms. And one of my favorite workouts to do are the shoulders, man. I remember seeing the Batman movie with Bane. Bane had some huge shoulders. I was like, God, I want shoulders like that. Them junks look monstrous. So, I started doing a workout like this called upright rows, okay? Boom. Boom. Let me just show you. Look at those shoulders, man. All you got to do is pick it up. Pick it up. One of my favorite workouts to do. And in prison, you will see there is a certain muscle group that a lot of black men have that no white men have okay and when you pull on your shirt you'll see it it's these muscles sticking out the back of their shirt I don't know if it's genetics or what you know these, these shoulder muscles you'll see it sticking out the back of their shirts and it looks vicious and you, you only see black guys with it, I don't understand it's like is it genetic? because some of them don't even work out and they got it so what I did, man, I wanted it. Just like rap music wanted me, made me want to be a gangster, man. I started doing these workouts, upright rows, and your, your shoulders get jacked quick. I remember something, man. When you start working out and you feel that burn, that is good, okay? You know, when I work out, man, I think about all the pain that I went through, and I just want to, I want to get right, man. Not everyone... You know, people in jail and prison, they want to get out to look good for women, okay? They don't want to get out and look good uh, just jogging, okay? Look good with those calf muscles jogging like a, you know, you know, it's just what it is, man. Guys want to look good when they get out of prison, and they want to uh, become visual to those women. And what do women look at? I'm sorry to say, they look at that chest first, okay? They look at that chest. You want some big chest muscles? I'm going to show you exactly what to do right now. Anywhere you go in prison or jail, okay, there's either going to be plastic chairs or benches for you to be able to work out these chest muscles, okay? And I'm going to show you right now because I just so happen to have two benches in my house. Instead of a regular dining table, I like the bench style because the kids like the you know, bombard it. So I'm going to pull out these benches and I'm going to show you exactly how to do good, healthy push-ups, whether it's on a chair or some benches. All right, Lucy wants to be a part of this workout. You don't work out nothing but that gut, girl. Anyways, 
see these two benches okay you're gonna see stuff similar to this in prison or jail uh, maybe not benches but definitely chairs okay and chairs work the same anything that has two handles on it you can use okay and this is gonna be my push-up station the amount the amount of push-ups people do a day man is insane okay I'm talking about like uh, some people they do a thousand push-ups a day before they even eat their first tray and um, that is pretty dude if you want a big chest okay it's gonna be cut up but if you want a big chest you're gonna have to go with the bench press okay you, I didn't get a big chest until I went to prison and started lifting with a bench press but this workout had me close enough to it it really stretches the chest out and you'll see results within just if you don't ever work out you will see results in just one day man you will feel good you will sleep good and I'm telling you it is well worth it but you gotta want it man that's the key that's the key so let's get right into it and show you how I do these push-ups on these two benches okay so naturally hey Luz hey girl naturally you're gonna wanna get into a push-up stance okay and you are gonna want it. the reason why this is such a good workout is because there's an open space under you you don't have a floor to stop you when you're doing push-ups just regular push-ups and you can't get that full stretch of a pec of the pecs okay so what you're gonna wanna do is get deep inside the pit okay the pit is what's underneath you. You're going to want to go as far as you can and stretch those chest muscles out as much as possible. Now let me show you. Line it up and look, I'm getting a full stretch. <laughs> Get a full stretch, man. All the way down till you get that stretch. You can feel those muscles in your shoulders touching the back of your back bounce it around a little bit and you ain't got to go all the way up bounce it in and out that is one way that we did our push-ups now let me also say if you ain't got benches to do these workouts or chairs you can always just do push-ups a consistent amount of push-ups a day will get you looking jacked and that's a fact there's other ways you can do push-ups and I'll show you right now okay one of the keys to doing push-ups and working the abs at the same time okay working your abs it, it, I mean it's all one workout mechanic they call these workouts spider-man's okay you get in a regular push-up position and then when you go down you pick this leg up and bring it to your side you know and then go to the other side you're gonna bring that knee all the way up to your elbow so you're really going down on one foot spider-man's now another good fat burner in a push-up position is hike ups just like that okay those are good fat burners Whew. I need to quit smoking cigarettes man so those were some of my major push-up workouts and also if you don't want to use a water bag for your uh, workout program because you could get a charge for that in jail Whew. anyways you don't want to get no charge in jail so the best thing to do if you ain't got water use books I would get a book every day probably a Bible I'd have like 90 Bibles from the whole block and Lord forgive me but I was working out with them now another workout that we did was dips you can do it on the stools but if they're too low you got to curl your legs up so you don't hit the ground but most of the time people just stack chairs till they're about waist high so they can do dips put your hand on each side pick your feet up go down great great back arm and shoulder workout okay dips push-ups 
upright rows, bench press if you're in prison. Those are keys to getting a monster looking body, man. It'll make you look real good with a t-shirt on. You don't want it too tight because then people would think you're just trying to show off your muscles. Now let me show you another thing though. This was one of my favorite workouts because when I was growing up, I always had puny forearms. I always looked up to those people that had huge forearms. I'll never forget this one guy I met in prison, in jail, I mean, Chesapeake Jail. He was actually an ex-bounty hunter. And he was huge, man. And everyone respected him even though he was locking people up. He was that big. Anyways, he showed me a workout, man. Because he had huge forearms. I said, man, how do you get such big forearms? Don't that thing sweet. Because all my muscles were pretty, looking pretty big. Except for my forearms. They were puny. Now my forearms are pretty big. You know what I mean? They're, not, they're still not to where I want them. But this workout will really get your forearms jacked, man. Let me show you. You can do this in any prison, any jail. As long as you have a pillowcase. Let's get right into it. Now, let's show you how to work those forearms and it could be a bicep workout as well with just a pillowcase. All right, so as you can see, I locked up on this, okay? I um, happen to have a stairwell that has wooden planks just like bars, okay? What you're gonna wanna do, this pillowcase is actually thick. This is a nice pillowcase. I shouldn't have used it. What you're gonna do is twist it up Okay, put it around the bar. That's it, man. Then you're gonna hang back. The lower you go, the more hang you got. Or higher you go, the more hang you got. Now for the forearms, all you do is this. One of the best forearm workouts I've ever learned, man. All you do is curl your wrists. That is it. You know, bounce back and forth. You do this 200 times, your freaking forearms, you ain't gonna be able to clench that tattoo gun for nothing. Now, if you wanna do bicep workouts in jail without water bag or books, you're just gonna crisscross these together and make kind of a loop, and don't tie it, and then you're gonna hold it just like this. You know what I mean? And you do this 100 times, and you're going to feel the burn. And these are workouts, man, that are going to make you look, you know, make, make people turn heads. Because these mainly are just for your arms, back arms, chest, and shoulders. That's all guys really work out in prison, man. It's upper body, okay? Believe it or not, unless you're a freaking UFC fighter. You don't need your legs, really. I mean, legs let testosterone and all that out. Uh, so that's why I do them once a week. Because legs do help your other muscles build. And it, without uh, working your legs at all, you're going to have some sore back problems because you can't just work out upper torso and just neglect everything. I work out the legs, like I said, once a week. I got big legs already as it is. I don't want midget looking legs, okay? I like to wear shorts. I don't want my calf muscles looking bigger than my head. So remember that. Don't ever take it for granted. When you see these people saying, Yo, bro, do you do, 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 you do legs? Do you even do legs? They're usually just saying that because they're hating on your huge t chest. Okay? If they're all getting up on you because your legs ain't big, man, forget them. Who cares what anybody thinks but yourself, man? You want to look good for the girls, you want to turn heads for the girls, then you're going to get these ch the chest and them biceps right. We ain't here to freaking bodybuild for real. We're here to just to get right, to look good and feel good. So always remember that. Don't ever work out to someone else's pace. Don't ever let anyone put you down because you ain't doing their workout. I'm telling you what we do in prison. And from what I see, everyone is asking how do people get so jacked in prison? Well, I'm telling you, consistency and upper body, man. Upper body. And not to mention, get your hands on a prison tattoo gun and get tatted up. Hey, you in there like swimwear, baby.
And now I'm going to show you what I'm more consistent at than anything. I'm going to show you right now. It's the best freaking workout for any man or woman out there. Let's get right into it. All right, y'all ready, ma'am? I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do. You don't need no water bag. You don't need no push-ups. You don't need nothing, but you gotta make sure that this is the last thing that you do for the day, okay? You're gonna stand up straight, chest out. Put both hands to your side. Make sure your fingers are out all the way except for your two pointer and thumb fingers. You're gonna hold them like this, okay? And when you come up, you got to do it just like this. That's right. Pinky out. Because we eat hot wings fancy around here. We're from the penitentiary. Lockdown 23 and 1. We don't just eat hot wings any way we want. We eat them with our pinky out, man. <laughs> That's the best workout, man. For the end. Eat plenty of protein. Not protein shakes, not steroids. Normal food, man. Normal food with meat, carbs. Ramen noodles are amazing for carbs. Eat ramen noodles. I like to eat them before because it gives me energy. But remember, stand up straight. Salute. Fingers out. Wing to the lips. Mmm. I swear wings are better the next day, man. Cold, straight out the fridge. Anyways, I made enough prison swole videos for y'all to understand how we ate in prison. I ain't in penitentiary no more, dog. I eat freaking hot wings, even though Virginia Beach Jail had the best hot wings I ever had. Yeah, and I'm a hot wing connoisseur. I don't know if it's just because I was starving, but their wings were magnifique. Anyways, man, until the next time, y'all, that was my main workouts in prison or jail. Back arms, biceps, shoulders, bench press, push-ups, Spider-Man push-ups. All that stuff. And not to mention when I wanted to burn that excess fat off me, I put a trash bag on me, wrapped up with a bunch of thermals, and went out there and ran until I could feel the sweat dripping down my body. It's very uncomfortable, but guess what? I wanted it. Anyways, man, I hope you enjoyed my quick little session on how to get buff and what muscles to work out to make yourself really look good. Don't ever work out at someone else's pace, man. And always remember, man, if you want something, all right, if you want something, go get it by any means necessary. Any means, go get it and make your dreams come true, man. Until the next time, death I bring.